King Solomon wrote in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, verse 9, two are better than one because they have good return on their toil. And if they fall, one will lift the other up. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another, though a man might prevail against one to withstand him. Noel, Josh, withstand me. So I am blessed today to be able to officiate this wedding for Josh and Noel. Josh and Noel have had the fortune to have having their first date just days before Pennsylvania decided to shut down because of COVID back in March of 2020. And just being in these circumstances, let alone trying to learn about and make a connection with someone new cannot have been easy. But even before I got the chance to meet Noel months later, you could tell the happiness she brought Josh. He was a new man with a smile constantly on his face and true joy within himself. So in some ways, the pandemic brought us a closeness that may not have been experienced without it. Josh and Noel used this time and embraced getting to know both each other and each other's families without a lot of the distraction that the outside world can bring. And they've built their relationship on a very sound and supportive base. And we're all very blessed to be able to have seen it grow and will see it grow even longer over the decades that will follow. Surrounded by their family and friends and all their loved ones today, we're all looking forward to being part of this very special day where you make your vows to spend the rest of your lives together. What creates marriage is the promises made and kept within your heart. So as you look lovingly at each other, you'll speak the promises that you're pledging for a lifetime. I, Josh, take you, Noel, to be my wife. You are my companion in life and my one true love. I will treasure our friendship and love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust and honor you. I will laugh and cry with you. I will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst, through the difficult and the easy, what may come, I will always be there. As I've given you my hands to hold, I give you my life to keep. I know I'll take you, Josh, to be my husband. You are my companion in life and my one true love. I will treasure our friendship and love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust and honor you. I will laugh and cry with you. I will love you faithfully through the best and the worst, through the difficult and the easy. What may come, I will always be there. As I've given you my hands to hold, so I give you my life to keep. Noelle and Josh, you came here today in the presence of your family and friends to express your love for and commitment to each other. Your lives are forever changed. Now you can face your fears, for you each will be strength to the other. Now you can brave the wind, for you each will be sheltered to the other. Now you can reap the rewards, for you each will be partner to the other. Now, though you are two bodies, there is one life before you. And there, in that life, you may always find love. Noelle and Josh, you have expressed your love to one another through the commitment and promises you've made. It is with these in mind that I pronounce you husband and wife. You've kissed a thousand times and maybe more, but today the feeling is new. No longer simply partners and best friends, you have become husband and wife. Today, your kiss is a promise. You may kiss the bride. You make me wanna celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate, 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 celebrate tonight. But really, Josh, 
I'm, uh, I'm honored to be, uh, be here by your side today and blessed to be a part of uh, your life and your family for the past 20 plus years. Noel and Josh, as the two of you continue on your life journey, hold on to those little things that you love about one another. Those little things will continue to grow more and be special over time and provide you with all the strength you'll need to face the world and its challenges together at one. To Josh and Noel, may you be friends to each other as only lovers can, and may you love each other as only best friends can. This is going to be off the cuff, but we're so happy to see everyone here, to see everyone gathered, the people that love us, friends and family, shared our love and celebrate, stay with us, regardless of the weather, regardless of circumstances, but we're just so happy. And we got plenty of booze, we got plenty, plenty of, plenty of food, so don't be shy. Drink up, eat up. Josh, do you want to talk? <laughs> okay, so we do have plenty of booze, as you can tell. Um, but we are truly grateful. Um, for a lot of you, it's been way too long over the past couple of years to see you guys. So just everyone gathering here today is truly a blessing. And I am so excited to talk to each and every one of you. And without you guys, we wouldn't be here today. So thank you very much, guys. And cheers to all of you. Yeah. <laughs> Before I pronounce a blessing, just three points of advice that I was asked to give that I want to share with the uh, bride and groom. So the three points are, um, uh, number one, never go to bed angry. Life is short. Don't hold grudges. Forgive. The other thing is, uh, anyone ever see the movie The Wedding, Wedding Planner? There's one line in that movie that I, 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 I adhere to and I think is very biblical, spiritual, and true. Almost at the end of the movie, they, they're facing each other and they said, how do you know when you found the right one? And one of them said, uh, I always imagined the right one being someone I could imagine myself growing old with. It's not a five-year plan, it's not a 10-year plan, but it's a lifelong commitment. And number three, that when you have an argument, uh, you always give in to the other party. I can tell you I've never won an argument with my wife. <laughs> always remember your last two words should always be, yes, dear. Yes, dear. So God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Let us pray, and we'll ask the Lord's blessing upon you and upon our meal. Shall we? I'm seeing everything. You make me want to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Tonight, celebrate tonight, like a picture that I've painted in my wildest dreams, came to life in every feeling that you gave to me, you make me want to celebrate.